Lawrence says scientists have grown an entire model of a human embryo without using sperm or egg. A report by the BBC says the Israel-based team used stem cells to create the embryo, adding the model looks like a textbook example of a real 14-day-old embryo. The hope is that the research provides an ethical way of understanding the earliest moments of our lives. And joining us now to provide insight into the science is Dr. Lauren Rubal, a specialist in reproductive endocrinology, endocrinology, that is, and infertility. She is also a member of the Catholic Medical Association. Dr. Rubal, great to be with you today. Uh, this really is a, a stunning scientific development and a medical breakthrough, I guess, if you will. That said, your reaction to this I find it quite concerning to be to be honest because this is the first time that human stem cells have been used to create an embryo model um, very similar to a, a, a real embryo embryo and, and you know while this is different from in vitro fertilization and we know what the church teaches about that talk to us about you know what the church's standpoint would be on this I would say that this is the culmination of the concern that in vitro fertilization and lab grown embryos represents is that this is um, stem cells, which are undifferentiated cells being used and um, those stem cells become all of the differentiated tissues in our body typically. But these are now being reprogrammed into becoming four different types of the cells that comprise an embryo, including the ones that become the placenta, et cetera. And then these are being grown into a 14 day embryo like models, what they're saying. But again, this is now devoid of the contribution of the egg and the sperm. And I think that, again, it's quite concerning because we have completely separated the procreative and unitive act. Yeah, and you and I have talked about that before, kind of uh, taking the mother and the father out of the picture when it comes to things like this. Do you think this is opening a Pandora's box? Absolutely, because again, with uh, new technology, as I always say, just because we can do something technically doesn't mean that we should. Of course, there can be such great hope that can be derived from some of these technologies, but where does it end? I can foresee that these begin being created with artificial wombs, and then we have this, again, commodification and production of of children. Um, it, obviously, this is far in the future, nothing that's been done currently. But again, we see that as uh, a distant possibility since this has now been done again with human cells for the first time. Yeah. Dr. Rabal, any more thoughts on, on this new technology, I, I suppose you call it? I would say that, again, if we can be vocal in uh, stating that cells derived from embryos are are sacred and should be treated with the dignity they deserve that will curtail some of these advances hopefully that is already fraught with uh, legal and ethical and technical uh, issues well thank you so much for coming on always appreciate it great to get your insights god bless